Hey you guys, welcome back. I just want to say this because as I'm watching my video about protecting kids, it's like, and I'm on my healing journey, and I just want to go back over some stuff because I said, like I said, you know, when you think you have healed, there's a lot of things that have, you know, just been lingering dormant in your vessel. You get me right? But I want to say this because, and the people that are in Barbados, that know me, you know, that knows ISIS, a day of reckoning is coming for you guys because you guys know that I was touched in my private areas. I was molested as a child. You see, and a lot of people might think that I'm bashing the LGBTQ community, but no, like I said, this is coming from a trans person. You see, I had no, I had no good authority around me. You see, if I was raised correctly, I would never be gay. I would never turn out the way it turned out. If I was raised correctly, I would be a young gentleman. But I wasn't raised to be a gentleman. And the one of this, like, I, I want to quote this guy that I watch on YouTube. He said, if you want to destroy a man, you destroy him as a little boy. Because if you destroy a, him as a little boy, he will never become a man. And that is what happened to me. I, would I was destroyed as a little boy. I was molested. People knew I was molested. These grown folks knew I was molested. These grown folks knew that I was abuse. These grown folks know. Yes, I'm using my throat chakra. A lot of people don't want me to speak because they have to fucking take accountability and they fuck shit. And that is what grown folks don't want to do. The people at the child care board in Barbados, Bridgestone Barbados, they knew what were the, they, they knew what they were doing when they put me a eight year old child in a twenty five year old man room. They knew what they were doing, and the guy they even went to jail. They brush it off and they say that he was mad, so that is why he molested me. I remember it like yesterday. They did nothing. You want to know why? Because he was giving them gifts. Expensive gifts. And that is why. And for all the children. And you see how you see how the devil would use. I'm sorry. You see how the devil would. Use something bad. But God would always turn it around for your good. I'm serious. Because someone tried to do the same thing to me the other day. And I'm like. No, 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 no. Thank you. Because that same issue that happened to me as a child, it came right back up to the surface. And now I'm speaking up. Yes, there's a lot of people in the LGBTQ community that would not speak because, and I want to say this because our voices were taken away from us as children while we were being touched and abused. We need to protect our kids. The today kids that are not growing up, we need to protect them because if no one is gonna, if no one is gonna protect them, who the hell are go who, who, who's going to? In words of Monique and Precious, who 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 who's gonna protect me? You got my point, right? We need to protect our kids. Whitney Houston said, I believe the children are the future. And if you destroy the future, what the fuck the future will going to look like? You want to stand right? We need to protect the kids, man. Protect the kids. And I want to say this to the adults. And I'm, I'm, and I'm talking about the adults that are in the right positions, not the corrupt adults, not the corrupt people. That condone this type of shit. Touching children. Now what the hell you can. Tell me what you can get from a child that you can't get from a grown folk. A child can satisfy what? No, they just want power. They just want that child's innocence. They just want that child's youth. That child's innocence. That child's energy. That's how they siphon the energy of their victims when they molest them. That is what happened to me. 
And then you become so rebellious because when you grow older, like my age, you know, I'm 28, and you realize, oh my God, this is not right. This is not right. I want to say this to the grown folks that are in the right position, that understands everything that I'm saying, that agrees with everything that I'm saying, and that want to fight this fight with me. We have to do our due diligence. It's your due diligence, you see? In words of, you know, mean girls, there's two types of evil in this world. People that do evil and people that see evil and do nothing about it. Adults that are in the right position that want to fight this fight with me. It is your due diligence to, when you see something happening, speak up. Do something. Chop off the hands of the predators. Because <laughs> I would, uh, trust me, trust me, I would do it. <laughs> trust me, you guys, I would literally chop off something so it wouldn't be at use anymore. <laughs> All jokes aside. <laughs> That was a good laugh. <laughs> I'm serious, you guys. We need to protect our kids. Protect our kids. I believe the children. I believe the children are the future. Fight. Stand up and fight for your kids. And don't place our pre don't place your kids in the predator's hands, in schools, in the government. I, that is where I was molested in the government. I was taken away from my mother and placed in the government thinking that that would be a better place. However, although I was abused in the government system, it trained me up. It trained me for the battlefield. Which is a good thing. Just like Joseph, you know how they sell him out and sold him out, but then everything comes together. So, yeah. But you see, these people that work in the system, don't place your children in the system. You got to fight back. 